With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, so the question is the depletion of ozone involves the following step. So here two steps are given. First step is fast reaction. Second step is slow reaction. So we have to predict the order of this reaction. Okay. So the order of the reaction can be predicted by the RDS that is rate determining step. Okay, so this is the slow step. The slow step is the rate determining step. So that's why our rate rate by equation will be rate equals to A into the reactant concentration. So this should be the rate of the reaction. From this we can get the order. Now here O is formed in first reaction and O, o is getting consumed in the second reaction. So that's why the concentration of O we have to get it. So from equilibrium approximation. The K2 by K1 will be equal to O2 O divided by O3. Okay. So from this only we can get the concentration of O. This O3 will go that side and O2 will come below. It will become K2, K1 divided by O3. O2. This will be the concentration of O. So we can put it here. K, K2, K1, O3 divided by O2 into O3. Okay. So this will finally become. So this whole thing will take it as K dash. So K dash into now O3 will become square. O3 square divided by O2. Okay. So which could be further written as K dash O3 square divided by O2 minus this will go up and it will be written as inverse. Okay. So from here, from here we can predict the order of the reaction. So the order of the reaction is predicted by the this uh, the numbers raised over the reactant concentration. So this uh, this is 2 minus 1. So our order will be 2 minus 1 equals to 1. So that's why our order here will be 1. That is first order reaction. Okay. So I hope you understand the answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.